today we're going to talk about Apple's MacBook Pro, and Samantha. So Apple's history dates back to 40 years ago, where our founding father Steve Jobs, Steve Watts, and Ron Wayne first developed the Apple I in one night So as technology advances, Apple launched the first PowerBook in 2001 that was built to cater towards businessmen for its lightweight features and its first window, first widescreen laptop. And as years go by, in January 2006, Apple launched the first MacBook Pro to better retain a screen. So now I'm going to pass on to Joey to talk about the segmentation. So how does Apple MacBook Pro segments the market? For this assignment, we will be using psychographic and demographic segmentation. So being a typical Singaporean, we have a rich appetite for the latest technology. So Singaporeans' income ranging from the middle to upper class of all ethnic groups are classified with lifestyle that have a tendency of chasing the latest available gadget. All right, a report from Ministry of Manpower indicates that 80% of the population earns between 1,500 to 11,500. And uh, that was, they actually make up the middle class. And 10% uh, earning more than 11,500 makes up the upper class. So Adeline will touch on the demographic segmentation. It is widely known that Apple has a pretty wide range of products to offer to its consumer. One of them is MacBook Pro. The current market indicates that MacBook Pro is targeted towards the young teenagers and working adults. This segmentation is based on demographic using age and family life cycle. Basically, Singapore population has been segmented into five different age. So as you can see from the chart, three quarter of the population is made up of age group from 15 to 24. 35 to 54, which adds up to 3.8 million. They are, main, they are mainly the young teenagers and working adults. With that said, we have concluded that the targeted age group that we are looking at is from 15 to 54 because the data indicates that MacBook Pro appeals to young teenagers and working adults. I'll pass on to Steven to touch on the last job. Hi there, I'll be, I will be discussing four out of the five uh, segmentation effectiveness. The first one is on measurable. Is it measurable as, as what we were doing as a, uh, in terms of our research? Yes it is because our target audience right now is ranges from 15 to 54 years old that equates to 3.8 million people in Singapore. So that's 3.8 million people that has a likelihood of purchasing uh, a laptop device to be used on a daily basis. So you know, is Apple able to assess their customers? Yes because Apple currently has certain types of advertisements that they do right now. So they have TV ads, web ads, social ads to promote their products. They're also contracted with authorized partners to help brand and sell the product as well. Also, you know, in terms of information, you can actually uh, access their, their homepage site to access information in terms of their product. Is it, is it currently substantial? It definitely is. Because if you look at 1% of the 3.8 million in population, if 1% of that 3.8 million, that would equate to 38,000 people. If those 38,000 people would have bought a, 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 you know, a MacBook computer that is worth around $2,200 on an annual basis, our quarterly revenue would be $20.9 million. In terms of differentiables, okay, the iCloud is definitely uh, something that is unique that offer, that, that Apple offers to our customers. It also has the longest battery life compared to our, 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 our competitors. It is thin and lightweight, it's very powerful, and as well as it has the greatest, latest and greatest retina display that is, has a picture sharp uh, uh, motion that, you, that your photos and your PowerPoint or videos will never get pixelated. I will pass this on to Jim, he will close off with the actionable. All right, is MacBook actionable? Is MacBook legal in Singapore? Okay, MacBook are licensed uh, of Apple trademark. Launching in Singapore is not illegal as long as it follows the rule and regulation. Okay, Apple has a strong legal and financial resource, and as a as a company currently worth of seven hundred billion, is the most valuable in the world. Okay, he has a strong presence in the uh, social media, such as the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. Okay, this was properly equipped with the right infrastructure. So, if you look at uh, okay, they have shops and authorized partner that has uh, actually helping them to brand and sell their products. Okay, they also have a strong brand pressure. Okay, it allows the marketing team to be more innovative in their marketing effort. Okay, so that concludes our presentation for the presentation.